Hi everybody, Hunt Pit Ted here. Today's video features an epic battle between an old public land Tom and yours truly. Here's a clue, only one of us comes out alive. I hope you enjoy this video as I was able to get in close quarters with this old Tom and get it all on film with the GoPro and a tree. You're gonna see me belly crawl into about 20 yards on this time. If you look closely, you can see his blue head coming in in the brush in the distance uh, at about 20, he's probably 30 yards from the camera and 20 yards from me uh, after I got impatient and belly crawled over towards him. So I hope you like this, and if you do, please like, share, and subscribe, and share with your friends. Hunt Fit Tip. Thank you. She's roaring. Don't think I am inclined to drive across this, but I know how I can get across and nobody else will. <laughs> I'm gonna have it all to myself. While I wasn't safe to drive across the spillway and the water was definitely raging, I felt comfortable with just taking off my shoes and rolling up my pants and crossing. It was about knee height, and a buddy of mine and I had just done this the other day. So I knew it was fine to do that, and I knew that it would separate myself. It's one of my favorite tactics uh, for separation on public land. But I don't see any tracks where anybody has already come across, so it should be good. Dry these feet off. Rocking the Argyle socks, baby. So my plan was to hit a ridgetop trail as soon as I crossed the creek. And as soon as I hit the, the ridgetop, I heard some gobbles off to the north a little bit. But I knew that there was the guy that tried to cross the spillway and uh, I saw some other traffic pulling in uh, just short of the creek as I uh, climbed to the top of the ridge. So I just decided to go on past those gobbles and uh, and go to the area of which I intended. I wasn't that excited about the early morning area. Uh, there was a lot of gravel on the trail and it just I just didn't see a whole lot of sign in there. And sure enough, as I progressed down the trail at, a, at an average pace that morning, I um, you know wasn't seeing any sign or anything like that. And then once I got back to the spot where I wanted, I got pretty excited. Gonna try to make the blooper reel. He's got a truck, but I wouldn't doubt it. Yeah, I guess he decided better. I don't know if you can see or hear that. This might have tried crossing. Sounds like the water knocked him off. The edge. Looks like they're ready to back up and. I wouldn't cross that thing in anything less than a three-quarter ton truck. It sounds like they got it back off the slab.
And now I'm beginning to get real impatient. And this is your typical public land tom. Acts excited at first, closes the distance quickly, then he gets snagged up 60, 80 yards out and won't commit. If you'll notice, he has varying degrees of excitement as well. Uh, sometimes he will respond immediately, and then he seems to be disinterested. At the time, I'm thinking he's coming in when he shuts up, uh, but he is just, I think he's just strutting back and forth, so it's time to make a move. After that gobble, I started to think he was moving away, and I had to make a move. In hindsight, I think he was strutting back and forth, and he was at his furthest point. After that gobble, I knew he was coming in. Big old public land gobbler. Big old stud. Man, I blasted him. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Look at those spurs, baby. At least inch and an eighth. And I'm tagged out in Missouri, baby. Hell yeah. Belly crawled up on him. Man. What an exciting morning. Pretty much dry, kind of slow. Well, I shouldn't say that. There was lots of gobbles where I first crossed the creek. But right after I got up to the top, somebody drove across. And I could see some others meandering down there with their lights and everything. And I was already up at the top and this is all the way on the other side. So I said, screw it, I'm going past it. Not every day is it that you just go past the gobble. But Jeez. So, went past it and I wanted to come to this area where I was the other day. There's a lot of sign in here. And sure, you know, I just pretty well walk quickly until I 
I started getting back close to this area and sure enough as soon as I got back to this area that I really wanted to get to um, you know I started seeing sign like right away at the point where I wanted to start seeing it and you know nothing before that at all and I started seeing sign 200 yards that way just started easing down the hill I could tell there was fresh scratchings from this morning and I was just calling real soft periodically the very first time I called I could hear him he was you know a couple hundred yards away and I couldn't really tell how close he was I didn't even know if he was responding to me I could barely hear it but it's pretty windy and so I just kind of picked up the pace a little bit came down working the trail and you know sure enough he gobbled again without me calling and so then uh you know i kind of got down to the area where i thought it'd be kind of good to kind of call down into here it's the same area where we tried to get set up on this guy uh two days ago three days ago yeah i took two days off three days ago and he's in the same exact spot and sure enough um you know i, I after i got off the trail i called and he came and i could tell he was getting closer he was closing the ground I barely had time to get set up. And then it sounded like he was just working that hillside back and forth several times. And I, I, I was beginning to think he wasn't gonna come in. So I belly crawled from here. I belly crawled about 20 yards. I just had one hell of an exciting encounter with this big old mature gobbler that I found the other day. He's in the same spot. And man, I had to army crawl up on him and there he is, baby, yeah! Tagged out of Missouri, that's number five on the year. All public land, all run and gun, no deeks, and a bunch of turkey meat. Oh yeah, he's probably 22, maybe 23 pounds, I think 22 at least. Uh, inch and eighth on the spurs, and looks like he's got a good old 12 inch beard. Caught it all on the GoPro, hanging from the tree. I, 